Hello everyone and welcome to another Almost Pro Gaming Battle Report. I am Brady and today I'm with Almost Pro Gaming's newest member, Ryan. How's it going? And uh, yeah, we're going to be playing a competitive style battle report for you featuring my Dark Eldar army that I play second with at the IC or TBMC ITC GT. I know it's a mouthful, they're changing the name next year because of that. Um, and he's going to be playing Ultra Smurfs or Ultramarines. Uh, we're with not custodian co allies. With custodian allies, we're not going to be using uh, ITC missions though, because they're changing the ITC missions within the next month or so. So I don't I feel I don't want to use rules that I know are going to be outdated very soon. So we're just going to play the next best thing for competitive, in my opinion, which is the Eternal War missions from Chapter Approved. So we're going to roll off for it and stuff, and we'll get to the mission later. But right now, let's take a look at the armies. So this is 1,996 points of Ultramarines with Custodian Allies. So Ryan, what are we working with here? Okay, so we got a battalion. So for the first part of that, we'll start. We got uh, Scouts, Heavy Bolter, Scouts with Combat Knives. All, all these also have Combat Knives and Pistols. Commander has a Chainsword. Um, this is a Scout Squad with uh, Camel Cloaks and Sniper Rifles. This model is actually modeled with a uh, Sniper Rifle, or modeled with a missile launcher but has a sniper rifle. Yeah, we're gonna have a little bit of Mark and Dave in this today. Not much, not much. We got, then for the HQs we have a commander, a captain, and a chief librarian Tigarius. Now for the heavy supports in this army we have a seven-man squad of Hellblasters and a five-man squad of uh, Devastators, all with heavy bolters. Fast attack we have two squads of um, Inceptors all with the assault bolters, and then for the next attachment we have Gilliman himself. Okay, and then for the third detachment we have a Supreme Command detachment of Custodians with all three shield captains. Um, they are all with the Hurricane bolters, and they all I paid for the points for the Misochondria. Okay, so yeah, as you guys can see, they have like the missile launcher things on them, but we're going to play them with heavy bolters today. Um, and yeah, that should be it. I'm assuming uh, who's going to be your warlord today? My warlord is going to be Gilliman, which makes me have the automatic command uh, command trait of uh, re uh, roll of five every time I spend a command point. Okay. Um, he will also be gaining me three com command points because of uh, that. So I will end up with a total of five for Battalion, three for him, and then one for that, and then three for being Battleforged. Are so any relics or pre-game stratagems being spent? Yes, I will be putting the relic on him. He'll, he'll have the, the souped up banner so you can uh, fire on a three. Okay. Um, also, I will spend a three command points for two extra relics to put the three of Invon and... Uh, Feel the charge on the one with no helmet, and the three up invone on him for their uh, relics. So that's three command points spent pre-game. Okay, and then what about the spells for uh, Mr. Tigerius? Tigerius will know Might of Heroes, Null Zone, and Psychic Fortress. He knows three spells? Yes, he knows three. What a badass. Alright, so uh, yeah, that's going to be 1,996 points of Space Marines with Custodian Guard. So here's my 2,000 points of Drukhari, or Dark Eldar, however you want to look at it. I have a battalion of Eldar Craftworlds, which is going to be a Laytok, a battalion of Cabal of the Blackheart, and a patrol of Cabal of the Blackheart. So that's everything you see here. And now I'll just go over what each of the units are. Well, so for the battalion of a Laytok, we have a Farseer Skyrunner, a Warlock Skyrunner, and then three units of rangers, which are like the Eldar snipers, basically. So that's that battalion. Then we're going to move over to the patrol and the uh, battalion of Cabal of the Blackheart at the same time. And altogether, we have three Archons, uh, two with Husk Blade and Splinter Pistol, and one with an Agonizer and Blast Pistol. And then we have two converted or proxied Lamians, depending on how you want to look at it. The reason I have them like this is because originally when I built this army, uh, Lamians were sold out in the store, so I had to make do with whatever I could find. So yeah, I took some witches and cabalites and put them together, and there we go, I got some Lamians. We have eight units of cabalite warriors. Seven of them have a blaster in them, and one unit is just full splinter guns. 
And then we have nine Venoms, all with double splinter cannon. And then two Razorwing Jet Fighters, both with Dark Lances and uh, Splinter Cannons. And then of course they come with the missiles that they normally come with. As for my Warlord trait, I am going to take Labyrinth of Cunning on this female Archon out front, which is the six up, uh, six up command point battery on when my opponent spends a, a command point, or when I spend a command point, I roll a dice and on a six up I get that command point. Uh, I'm also going to use the Relic Writ of the Living Muse, which is going to go on this guy right over here. That basically gives him a six inch aura that allows stuff to re-roll ones to wound. Well, at least it allows all the uh, Dark Eldar stuff to re-roll ones to wound if they're within six inches. And that should be it. Oh, Psychic Spells. And then on the uh, Farseer, who's the guy with the fin on the back of his head, he's going to have Doom and Executioner. And then the Warlock is going to have Jinx. So that is going to be my 2,000 points of Dark Eldar. So let's uh, get the table set up and we'll get started. So we're all done rolling off for the mission and setting up. So we rolled off for who put, or we rolled off for the mission and we got Dominate and Destroy, which is uh, it's an Eternal War mission, and you get one point at the end of each of your turn for every objective that you're sitting on, which are all being used. We have. Uh, the Basement Collective objectives that I got at the tournament that was hosted by the Basement Collective. If you guys don't know who they are, they're a YouTube channel. Check them out. They do battle reports and stuff. Um, so yeah, and then uh, I was the last one to place an objective, so I randomly got to determine deployment. So I rolled for it, and I got Search and Destroy, which is very fitting since we're playing Dominate and Destroy. So uh, that's the corner ones, kind of, like where it goes here and there's a 9-inch bubble from the middle of the table. And yeah, so that's where everything ended up. And so Ryan got to drop the first unit because I picked my side and the deployment. And which his army was a lot smaller than me, so he's going to get the plus one. He did finish uh, first before I did. And then my army's finished here, so just a quick overview of where I put everything. So we got Venoms with Blasters all up front. And I didn't bunch them all together because I know of that stratagem... Uh, What's it called where you drop the bomb? Orbital bombardment. Orbital bombardment. So I made sure not to put them all together so that way it, if he does want to do that he can only hit two, maybe three Venoms at once. The Razorwing Jet Fighters are in the back corner because they can move pretty much the whole table. So they're going to go wherever they want to and then putting them back there just means they're out of range of all of the, well, most of the guns. Um, then I have my Warlock and Farseer hiding back here, hiding out of line of sight from the sniper scouts um, and yeah so yeah as you guys can see this is the table so before we get into rolling off for who goes first let's do some shout outs so this mat is from deep cut studio uh, this kind of terrain is from games workshop that kind of terrain is from TT combat or troll trader combat and I think that's it for all the shoutouts. Yep, the, everything on the table is either from Games Workshop, Deep Cut Studio, or TT Combat. Uh, so yeah, with that done, I guess it's now time to roll off to see who's going to pick who goes first. Alright, so my dice is the big blue one, he's going to use a red one, he gets a plus one, and I got a six. <laughs> okay, would you like to go first or second? You can try and seize if you want. So you're going to try and go first? Um, yeah, I'm going to try to seize. I doubt I'm going to do it, but we'll see. Nope. So the dice gods made up my mind for me. So we're going to go into turn one for the Ultramarines. So uh, just going to show you guys my infiltrates real quick because I get to do this uh, before he actually gets his first turn. So I put my two units of, not guardians, rangers, rangers. My two units of rangers in that ruin. And then a unit of rangers in that ruin. And then uh, for his turn, which we already did, well not his whole turn, but his movement at least, uh, he moved the custodians from over inside that building to over here. Also, I forgot to show what his deployment even was or talk about it, but he put some scouts over on this objective since you do get one point a turn for being on objectives. He put some scouts on that objective for the same reason. Uh, Devastators are up there. Other scouts with the snipers are over there. And then inside that building, I don't know if you can see him, maybe let's zoom in. There you go, you can see his base right there. There's the uh, the 
Ancient, who does the reroll things, he's down, or he's on the second level, so he can reach, I believe, most if not all the guys on top, and most if not all of the Hellblasters that are on the ground floor back there. And also Gilliman's hiding back there too. And uh, yeah, so that was his whole deployment because his two uh, uh, jumpy dudes are in Deep Strike. So the only thing that he actually moved on his turn was the three shield captains on the Don Eagle jet bikes. And uh, so yeah, with that, the movement phase done, uh, I believe we're moving into the Psychic because you do have Chief Librarian Tigarius somewhere in that building, probably on the floor the or something. So what's he going to do? His first Psychic power, he's going to cast Psychic Fortress on uh, these scouts here, okay. giving them a, pretty much a four up feel no pain on Psychic spells. Okay. It goes off on a five. So it goes off on six. Okay, and I'm out of denial range with right. both of my psychers that are over so there. I'll put this here for now. Which, by the way, for those who are wondering why they're not actually on their bases, it's because they don't stay on their bases, and I don't want to glue them there because of uh, uh, transportation purposes. It'll, they'll easily break if I glue them on there. So I'm going to magnetize them, but I'm actually waiting on some uh, magnets in the mail from my new sponsor, TheMagnetBaron.com, if you want to check them out. And so yeah, so any more psychic spells? Yes, yeah, so I'm going to cast Null Zone just uh, to try it out, just in case anything tries to come in the lines. Goes off on an 8, goes off on a 10. Okay, cool. So now so. he's got Null Zone, which cancels out invulnerable saves within 6 inches, or enemy invulnerable saves, yeah, which is basically all of my vehicles, they all have a 5 up invul. The two characters over there have four up in balls, and the Archons have a two up in ball. Yeah, that's right, they have a two up in ball. But if they roll a one, they lose their in ball for the rest of the game. So that's the balance of it. Uh, so I believe that's your psychic phase? Yeah, let's go uh, right into shooting. I think so there's only, shooting. only one thing to shoot. I think that I'm going to shoot this uh, heavy bolter at the one of the Venoms, the one in the front that you can see. This guy right here. Okay. He is going to use the stratagem Hellfire Shells Which is for one command point. Okay, so you use one command point. Do I get it back on a six up? No. Do I get it back on a five up? And that is a six. So, so I do. don't so spend it. Use it. I don't spend the command point, but I do get to still use it. So what what does it do? It is uh, I fire at any any unit that I want. That's not a character. And if I hit, it is D three automatic mortal wounds instead of rolling for to wound and then you re-rolling the everything but three. Okay. So one, re-roll. Four. So it hits, and it then hits. you do D three mortal D3 wounds. D three mortal wounds. Four one. Oh. Alright, and I'm going to six up feel no pain that because Cabal the Blackheart gives all of the vehicles a six up feel no pain, which is pretty nifty. Nope. So this venom is now down to five wounds because of that Hellfire shell. And uh, I believe that's it for Ryan's turn. So he didn't kill anything this turn, so he doesn't get first blood. He doesn't get any points for killing stuff since this is a kill point game. But he does get three command or three points for being on three objectives. So Ryan is now at three to my nothing halfway through turn one. But now it's my turn one. So let's go for Dark Eldar, turn one. And this is the end of the movement phase for Jukari. Or Eldari, if you want to call it that, since I do have Eldar allies. So a lot of the Venoms just moved up. There's the one that's on five wounds. They all moved up the board. Um, my two Eldar psychers on the jet bikes are right there, being in a nice little bubble to protect them from the deep striking shenanigans. Um, I got these guys out of the Venom before it moved to stop deep striking shenanigans. I ran my Warlord, who has the, uh, the obviously the Warlord trait for the six up command point farm. Uh, they're just protecting her a little bit while these guys are protecting from the other side. Plus, we're still using the ITC house rule where you can't see through bottom level of ruins. So if you're under or you're on the bottom level of a ruin, you can't see through the windows and stuff. Um, these venoms moved up over here. My two razorwing jet fighters just kind of didn't want to move too far because if they go too far up the board, they're gonna get swatted out of the air by these three guys since they have the fly keyword so they can easily charge them if they really and, want. And uh, with that done, I believe now we're gonna go into the psychic phase. So psychic phase, done, because nothing's in range. Now we're moving on to the shooting phase. So I believe we're gonna start with this Razorwing Jet Fighter and we're gonna shoot Dark Lances and Splinter Cannons at that unit of scouts, and we're going to shoot the missiles, which are going to be the strength 7 minus 1 rerolling wounds at the devastators up in the building. 
All right, so we're gonna do the dark lances first. Dark lances are assault when they're on a vehicle, so there's no penalty to moving and shooting. So I hit you on threes. I got no hits, beautiful. Then we're gonna do the splinter cannon, which is outside of rapid fire range, so hitting on threes. And then wounding on fours because of poison, which wounds everything but a vehicle on fours. Double sixes, so you have two four up saves, I believe. One pass, one, one fails. Dies. Uh, hmm, yeah. So who are we take it? We'll and then guy. we have the missiles that are going up at the Devastator squad. So I get D6 shots for one, of course, just my luck. Hitting on a three. Alright, so next we're going to have this Venom right here is going to shoot into those guys. So I don't have rapid fire because they're just outside of 18. Or no, these are the guys inside of the Venom that are shooting. So there's no blaster. They're, they have a blaster, but I'm not rolling for it because it's out of range. So these are the poison weapons. Hitting on threes. So we got two hits. Wounding on fours because of poison. Nothing. Then we're going to move over to this Venom right here and have the guys inside there shoot at those scouts. They're going to hit on threes. All of them hit. And we're wounding on fours. We have one wound. You only have four up safe. Good. Okay. Now we're going to have the Venoms themselves. So this back one's going to shoot first. So that's six shots because rapid fire three weapons, but they're not in rapid fire range. So we have three hits. And then on fours, two wounds. You only two four ups. One so dies. One dies. Well, then we're going to go with the next Venom, which will be this front one right here, and they're going to shoot at them. So two hits because these guys don't want to do it. They don't want to do anything today. All right. So now, after taking some measurements, this razor wing is actually equal distance from those scouts and both of those captains right there. So I'm going to shoot at the one on the far right because he's the one that doesn't have the three-up involve from the relics that Ryan paid for at the beginning of the game. Mistakes were made. <laughs> Mistakes were made. <laughs> this guy is going to shoot his dark lances and missiles at the captain and he's going to shoot his splinter cannons at these guys so let's do the dark lances first which is always every time i do the dark lances first they don't do anything so let's see if this still stays true hitting on threes well one didn't do anything so far wounding on a three i guess it stays true <laughs> so then the missiles d6 we're going to do the strength seven minus one so d6 shots for four and then we will be hitting you on threes and then wounding you on, on the six. strength seven, so on threes, re-rolling. Luckily, it's re-rolling. One wound to minus one, so you have a three-up three save. save. Good. So now we're going to have that Venom way over there is going to shoot into those guys. The guys inside aren't in range of anything, so I'm just going to shoot the Venom itself. So here are the Splinter Cannon shots. We have four hits. And then we have... Two wounds, so you have two four-up saves. Good. You're rolling pretty good so far. All right, now we're going to move over to that Venom, and we're going to shoot the guys inside plus the Venom itself, so ten shots. No blaster, so ten splinter cannon shots. And it's no blaster because the blaster is not in range. And then we're going to wound on fours. So we have four yeah. wounds. Four four-up saves. Wow! So then we're gonna go with this Venom. He can surely do what his brother couldn't. And we're gonna throw another 10 dice at it. Hitting on threes. Wounding on fours. We have one, two, three, four. Four more four ups. Same as last time. Wow. Okay, so that's three Venoms down that couldn't kill a single scout. That Venom right there is going to shoot. It only gets six shots because the guys inside are characters that don't have long range. So, six shots hitting on threes. One. One. Four up safe. Oh. And it's a two or four? It's a four. God darn it. <laughs> this Venom is going to shoot at them. I might not kill anything on my turn either. Okay, that's there a little bit better. There you go. Now I need to do that again. Fours. Wow. All right, so now this Venom out front, the guys inside are going to shoot at the scout squad. And yes, they are finally in range for the blaster. So the big blue dice is the blaster. Of course it misses. Now we wound on fours. For two wounds, you got two more four-up saves, which you're probably going to make again. Ah, yeah, one dice. Finally! So this Venom now is going to take a shot at it. The blaster is out of range, so I'm just going to roll the guy and uh, 
it's out of rapid fire range because that's at 18 inches. So I'm going to just roll for the venom and the guys inside. So 10 poison shots, hitting on threes. If these guys live, they deserve like 20 purity seals. Fours, or wound you on fours. Two. Four and a three. So one more dies. You know, the last venom into them, he should be still be in rapid fire range. So that's 12 shots. So that's this venom right here. He still hasn't shot. 12 shots while he's in rapid fire range. Hitting on threes. All right, and then wounding on fours. You nice, you got five four up saves. Come on, come on, come on, come on, yeah. Three dead. Finally, it took everything though to shoot at them. Normally my stuff kills stuff better than this, but I didn't get my spells off, which does help me kill stuff a lot. And I didn't really have much to shoot at otherwise anyways. I could shoot at these guys, but they got a two up save. I might have killed maybe one or two of them. Okay, so I measured and all but one of these guys is in range of the same custodian guard that I shot earlier. So I'm going to shoot nine shots at him. We're going to hit him on threes because they didn't move. Not bad. And then we're going to wound him. He's toughness six. So we're going to wound him on fives, but sixes are mortal wounds. So I'm hoping these are all sixes. Please, dice gods, have mercy from the earlier crappy shooting. Oh, yeah, a little mercy. So you take one mortal wound, one and you wound have and three armor three saves. Are three two-ups? Yep, three two-ups. So three two-ups to make the ones. There we go. Okay, so you just take one mortal wound. One mortal wound. That guy is now at six wounds. Those guys are beasts. These five guys are going to shoot at them over there, and all of them moved, though, and they are heavy weapons, so they're hitting on fours now. So I got two hits. I need those sixes again, please. But uh, yeah, that was a horrible first turn for shooting. I still at least got first blood, so I can't be too angry about it. But I mean, that those scouts lived forever. Those are the freaking Terminator scouts over there. And uh, yeah, I for believe. The emperor. <laughs> for the Emperor. For the Emperor. I believe that's going to be it for my turn, because I have no charges to declare. All of my shots have been shot. And yeah, so at the end of my turn, I'm going to get five points, because one, two, three objectives that I'm holding, plus first blood, plus I killed a unit. So I'm at five to Ryan's three at the end of turn one. So it, Dark Eldar is slightly in the lead, but this is still anybody's game. So now we're going to go into Space Marines, plus Custodes, turn two. So we're done with the movement phase for the Ultramarines. The jumpy dudes came in to sit on that objective, and they're within six inches of Gilliman, who walked around the back of the building, because he can't walk through the wall because he is a monster. And then the Hellblasters walked through the wall because they're infantry and they don't care about walls and stuff. At least for ruins. And then the three Dawn Eagle jet bikes moved from over there to over here. So I believe that's all that you actually moved. Everything else, all these guys moved to get behind the barricade to actually get a cover. And that's about it. That's all you moved. So now your full army is on the table. And oh, uh, it's now your psychic. So what are you going to do for Psychic? Okay, so I'm going to cast from him... Um, Tigerius hiding in the back behind... Yeah, he will cast uh, Psychic Fortress on this front unit here. Okay. So it goes off on a 5. goes off on an 8. Okay. okay, so they have Psychic Fortress, and we will once again do Null Zone. Okay. Goes off on a nine. All right, and I measured. I'm not in range to deny, so I can't deny any of these. I'm like 28 inches away. So now I believe we're moving into the shooting. So where are we going to start? Okay, so let's start with this front Inceptor squad. Okay. They're going to start targeting this guy with five wounds on him. So they have 18 shots amongst the three of them, six shots so each. So like you said, he's going to target those jumpy dudes into this Venom, and I'm actually going to spend two command points for lightning fast reactions, which makes his Venom an extra minus one to hit. So it's already got a minus one because I believe it's called Flicker Field that gives it a minus one when you're shooting at it. Now I'm giving it an extra minus one, so he'll be hitting me on fives instead of threes. So I'm hitting on fives, re-rolling ones and twos. Oh, what a hit so far. So we got one. So we got five hits out of that. So now he's gonna wound me on fours because strength five, the toughness five. Rerolling everything because of Gilliman. So three wounds so far. Rerolling. Four, four wounds. wounds. Four six up. Feel no pains. I mean five up. Invuls. 
But then six up the things. I almost forgot about my own ball. <laughs> hey, so I only take two damage, so I'm down to three on this venom. And he keeps that for the remainder of the phase, so if he wants to keep shooting at me, he's got to do it at a minus two. Okay. A unit of uh, Inceptors or Jumpy Dudes in the back are now going to target this Venom, which is only minus one. So now they hit on fours, re-rolling ones and twos, but not threes, because again, modifiers happen, or re-rolls happen before the modifiers. Reroll. Okay. And now on fours, re-rolling because of G-Man. Over two thirds of them. So nine. four, eight, ten. So I have ten five up invulnerables, which I only make one, <laughs> and I got a bunch of six up feel no pains. I'm I'm pretty sure it's dead. It's so then dead. I'm gonna roll for the guys inside. On ones, dudes die. So two dudes die. So the venom is now gone, and the three guys that lived all got out at the back. So Ryan is going to shoot his Heavy Bolter Devastator Squad. He's going to shoot all the Heavy Bolters into there, except for one who's going to do Hellfire Shells at those three guys right there. Yes, because we are doing kill points as well. So yes. to see if I spend the stratagem on a 5-up, I don't. I do spend it. And see if I get it. I do not. So okay. I'm still at 13, and you should be at 7 now, I yep. believe. Yep. So this is hitting these three guys, and they have no minus to hit, I'm guessing. Okay. I'm asking nope, you. They're, 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 no, they're not minus to hit. Okay, so hitting on threes. But actually, I'm going to give him the signum too. Okay, so, so he's going to hit on two. twos. Okay, he hits with a six. Okay, and then D3, D3 mortal, mortal, wounds. mortal wounds for two. So I have two six up, feel no pains, because all of my, everything in my Dark Elder has six up, feel no pains. So two die. So I took two, and I left the Cyberite, because he has the best chance of not running away, because I don't want to give up kill points. Otherwise, I would have... Risked it and tried to uh, keep my blaster, but yeah, we're playing kill points in this mission, so no, no I'm not gonna do that. So what? What next? Okay, oh, yeah, so now you have the heavy bolters. Heavy going bolters at him, hitting on fours. That is correct. Rerolling -re -re ones. Okay, so rerolling ones because they're just outside the six inches. Okay, and then wounding on fours. Uh, and three. three. So I have three five up and vulnerables because every vehicle has a five up. There we go, now my luck is starting to change. Six up, feel no pain. So I take one damage. So the Venom with the characters now has five wounds. So Bobby G himself is gonna take some shots at this Venom that has three wounds left. So it's minus two to hit. Yep, so you will be hitting on fours, re-rolling ones. Okay. Oh. There we go, two hits. Strength six. So wounding on threes. Re-rolling. Two wounds, minus one. Five up invuls. Failed both. And then two damage each. Yep. Six up on the pains. And I failed all of them, so it dies. Does it blow up? Yes, it does. Uh, so that's just one mortal wound to everything within six inches. So, uh, this guy right here, six up feel my pain. Nope. And then this guy right here, six up feel my pain. Nope. And that's probably outside of six. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, and then the guys inside, one dies. So the venom is now removed, and the cabalites got out over here to the side. Hellblasters. Hellblasters. They're outside of rapid fire for everything, but with the 30 inch range, they'll be in the right range of this. Okay. So hitting on fours, rerolling ones and twos. Wounding on threes. All wound, no rerolls required. So five up in vaults, six up in the veins. So bad! You go with uh, this shield captain here, he's gonna shoot at him. Okay, with his hurricane bolters. I know I called them heavy bolters earlier on in the battle report, but they're actually hurricane bolters. Okay, so six shots, hitting on threes, rerolling ones. Okay, so five hits. Strength four, toughness five. Wounding on fives? Yep, fives. Three. No rerolls for the wounds. Four up armor saves. Six up feel no pains. So it dies. Does it explode? No. The guy's inside. With my luck, at least one of these guys is going to die. 
Two guys die. Okay, we're gonna rinse and repeat. This custodian guard is just gonna shoot at this venom. He is in rapid fire range, so he'll get twelve shots. Twelve shots. Normally hitting on twos, but now hitting on fours because of my fours. minus one. Nope, this is minus one, so hitting on threes. Oh yeah, my bad. I do, math, I do math good. Rerolling ones. Oh, that's a lot of ones. Okay, so that many hits, and then wounding on fives. Hard part, only one. There we go, it's about time your luck turned around. <laughs> Four up armor! Hey, I made that, finally, I made a save. He's gonna shoot at the- The one guy? The remaining cavalry. Okay. Yeah, six shots. Hitting on twos. Rerolling ones. Because of Gilliman. Because of himself, him. actually. He oh, yeah, he's also ones himself. And then wounding on threes, I believe. Yes. Okay. Three? Three wounds, no AP. Five up armor. Ooh, ooh, six up. Ooh. He could live, he could live. How much do you have left to shoot? Chance he's going to run away, so no, I'm not going to do it. So we have a six up, feel no pain. Dice gods. Please. Oh. Ah! Wow. We're done the shooting phase. And this captain is going to charge this Venom right here. He's just under 12 inches away, which would mean it's normally an 11 inch charge. But because of Gilliman's 12 inch bubble, which gives plus one to advance and charge rolls, he's gonna make it on a 10. So I get my Overwatch first. I have 12 shots that I get. I hit you on sixes, which I hit two, two. And then I wound you on fours because poison. You have two two up saves. Good. Okay. And then now you need a 10 inch charge. Please, please don't, please don't. Six and a five, I will spend a command point. You mean six and a two? Six and, yeah, six and a two, sorry. I will spend a command point on this. I'm going to pay three command points and on a two up, I negate your shit. See if I get mine back on sixes. Nope, so I spent three, I'm now at 10 command points. Oh no, but then I spent two earlier on that thing. So I'm at eight command points to I believe you're at seven, right? Yeah, seven. Okay. And I guess that's probably gonna be it for your turn, correct? Uh, yeah, for now. Okay, so then we're going to go into uh, turn two for the Drukari. I've taken uh, heavy casualties, more than I'm used to, actually. So, uh, yeah, we're going to see if I can come back from this. So turn two movement is done, and this took a lot of thinking, because Ryan actually had a very good movement phase and limited my options. Because this big building right here, uh, if I were to move my army over here, they would all end like right there and can't see anything and I wouldn't be able to accomplish anything. Sure, he can't see me with most of his stuff, but then these guys can just charge over the next turn and kill like four Venoms. So it forces me to move farther this way. So that's what I'm going to do and hope that it works out. Uh, like I said earlier, I'm kind of on my back foot here. I took heavy casualties compared to him and uh, yeah, we're going to see if I can pull this one out. So we're going to go into the... Uh, psychic phase. I'm gonna cast Smite, which goes off on a 10, which is actually an 11 because it's uh, more than 10 because of the plus one from earlier. So I get d6 mortal wounds on those guys. Four, five. You take five mortal wounds, is which the is the squad. whole squad. Definitely. So now we're gonna go into the shooting phase. We're gonna start with these guys and shoot into those jumpy dudes. So the small ones are the splinter rifles, and the big ones, the blaster. Hitting on threes and re-rolling ones because they are right next or six inches away from that Archon that has the writ of the living muse. So I can re-roll this one one. Okay. Then I wound on fours. I got one wound. Up save. Good. Now I'm gonna shoot that razor wing jet fighter into those jumpy dudes. So we have two dark lances hitting on threes. One hits. Wounds on a two. Wounds, you don't get a save. 3 damage. And he doesn't get a save because it's minus 4, they only have a 3 up save, so his save would go up to a 7 up, and you can't roll a 7 on a 6 sided dice. Okay, so he's within 6 of the banner, this one guy, so he's going to shoot on a 3 plus. Okay. Okay, he shoots, and that's 6 shots, he's going to shoot at, might as well shoot at uh, the 4 man squad of Cavalites. Okay, so Jumpy Dude the Died is shooting at the 4 man Cavalite squad. Hitting on 3's re-rolling. I'll hit. I'm wounding on threes. You're rolling. I'm rolling because of Gilliman. Okay, three wounds. Minus one. Three six up armors. And then two six up the pins. So one dice. This guy. Then we're going to do the uh, strength six two damage missiles at those guys. For four shots. Hitting on threes. And then wounding on threes. You have two wounds, two three up saves. 
And one so more, more dies. And he should be outside of the six inch to try and shoot again. Oh yeah, he is. Yeah. So he's going to have the splinter cannon, which is probably outside of rapid fire, and I don't feel like measuring, so I'm just going to do this. Round fours, you got one three up safe. Good five. And the guys inside this venom right here are going to shoot at that last jumpy dude. So there's four splinter shots and one blaster. The big one's the blaster. Hitting on threes. Okay. The blaster wounds on a two, the other one wounds on four. So a blaster went through. How much damage? Does two. So it's just enough to kill your guy. Right. Killed the jumpy dude. So this venom right here, the guys inside are going to shoot at those guys right there. So the guys are within rapid fire range from them. So that's eight poison shots and one blaster. Hitting on threes. And the small ones are on fours because of poison, big ones on a two. So this one goes off and kills a guy, and then you got two, uh, I guess, three up because of the barricade. Okay. Two saves, so one's dead. Now the guys inside this venom are going to light them up as well, so same thing. So this one missed. These are all hits. And I'm wounding on fours because of poison. Wow, I'm rolling so bad today. So just three. Two more. Woohoo! So the Razorwing Jet Fighter is going to shoot Dark Lances and Missiles at the Devastators up there and going to shoot the Splinter Cannons at, or the Splinter Cannon at that one guy. So six shots because of rapid fire range from the Splinter Cannon. So oh, now I get all the hits I need when there's only one guy left to kill. Fours. Two wounds. Is that going to count as cover? Uh, from this thing? I would guess so, yeah, sure. So two okay. three ups. He's and dead. he's dead. Sweet. So now I have six points. Then I'm going to shoot this Venom itself. And I'm declaring right now that I'm going to spend one command point. Uh, let's see if I get it back on a six up. I do not. And that, I forget what it's called, but it's going to allow me to move that thing up to seven inches after I shoot with it. So let me find out what I'm shooting and I'll be back. So it was off camera because I'm trying to save a uh, battery. And this guy, he ended up moving after shooting. He took some shots at the Devastators up there. He managed to do three wounds, but then there was three two-up saves made because they are in cover. So yeah, nothing happened there, but I did get to move him. So now I'm on that. So I'll be getting four points for objectives, plus the three units I killed. So that will be seven points for this turn. Um, and I'm down to seven command points along with Ryan. We're both tied in that regard for the command points. So now let me think about what I'm shooting and then I'll be back. So now this Venom is going to shoot at those Devastators. So I hit them on threes. So I got, nice, five hits. I wound you on fours. I got three wounds. Two. Yes, two wounds. Yeah. Right, so the guys inside this venom right here are going to shoot the only thing they can really reach, which is going to be that first uh, guy right there. These were the three guys that were over there before that got out of the one venom. They ran around here and they got inside this venom. So there's only three dudes in there and that's why I left them behind it. Those guys aren't on the ground, they're inside the venom, but this is just to remember that's not a full squad. So here's the splinter. I got one hit. No wound. After double checking, the blaster is in range of that shield captain, so he hits on a three. He wounds on a three. He can just barely see him with the tip of his wing right here. Can just see the guy's uh, edge of his bike. So we're gonna have the guys inside here do the same thing. So four shots plus a blaster. So they hit on threes. And the little ones wounds on fours, big one wounds on a three. Okay, so I'm actually going to command point this one. Do I get it back? No. And then I need a three. So it does wound. So give me your four up in ball. Okay, four up in ball. Good. Three? Yep. Two up saves? Three, two ups. And he's good on all of them. So that venom right there is shooting into that shield captain. So he's in rapid fire range, and I reroll ones because of the Archon that's right behind him. He also has the Relic for Rit of the Living Muse, so he can reroll ones to wound as well. Now I wound on fours, rerolling ones because of the Relic. That, so you got four two-up saves. Good. And you're okay. Moving on to this next Venom over here, we're going to try the same thing. Hitting on threes. I don't believe I'm within six. 
take those out. Put every wound you on fours for just two wounds. Got two two ups. Hey, I did a damage. That's how it goes. So he's down to five. And then the final venom that I have is gonna try their luck as well. Well, I got four hits out of twelve, hitting on threes. <laughs> Wound on fours. And I got two wounds. At least that part was statistical. And you made your saves. Alright, so only nine of these guys are in range, kind of like last time, and they're going to shoot these Devastators. So I have nine shots, I hit on threes. So I missed four, and then I wound on four, sixes are mortal wounds. So you got one mortal wound and three two-up armor saves. Move the sergeant, move the three two-ups. That is correct. One more. And then we have these guys over here who are going to do the exact same thing. They're going to shoot at those two guys. Just try to finish them off just for more points, trying to win the game. Hitting on threes, because they didn't move this time. And then fours, sixes, or mortal wounds. So you got a mortal wound and one armor save. So I... <laughs> wow. That's I'm a gonna, one. I'm going to re-roll that one. Uh, it's on a five, I get it back. I do, and I'm going to re-roll that. For two, he's, he okay. one and on a six, do I get that back? No. So one guy lives. And then with that done, I believe that's it for my uh, shooting. Because nothing else is in range. I shot everything. I have no charges that I would like to declare. So at the end of my turn, I get one, two, three, four points for being on objectives. And then I killed three units. Three units. So I get seven points for my turn. Almost eight, but he kept him alive. I could have used Agent's Effect to stop him from re-rolling that, but I didn't think it was worth it because I'd rather keep my command points for other stuff. So yeah, I get seven points, which will put me at 12 to your eight. eight. So I'm up by four points. So, so far, my strategy of trying to play to the mission is uh, working. Now I just got to try to play keep away from big boys over here. And yeah, just hope everything else goes my way from now on. So uh, yeah, going into turn three for the Ultramarines. So turn three of movement is done for the Ultramarines and Custodes. Uh, the shield bike captains, like I expected, are moving up and are going to put some serious hurt on me this turn. I think I'm still in an okay spot depending on how much hurt he actually does put on me this turn. Uh, but yeah, we will see. We're going to play it out to the bitter end no matter what. So. Uh, anything else? Nope, nothing else moved over here. It was uh, really... Captain moved to get with it. Oh yeah, Captain moved to get within three inches of that objective. These guys are surrounding that objective, and then shield captains are moved up as well. Now I guess we're going to go into Psychic. Yes, Psychic Fortress on the Hellblasters. Okay. Goes off on a five. Perils. Okay. I will spend a command point to re-roll that. Uh, okay. Do I get it back? I you do. You do. do I get it back? I don't. And no one. A four. Still doesn't go off. But well, at least I you didn't don't hurt barrels. yourself. Like a power, I'm going to use smite. And it's going to go off on that little dude right there. In between all oh, these wait guys. Second, wait a second. Just... Okay, never mind. I will remember next time that Librarian Tigarius gets to re-roll failed games. Casts. Oh, okay. Instead of spending command points. But they didn't spend anyways. So it's no. like on seven. It goes off. I'm gonna try to deny it. I need a eight. He gets I got it. a nine, so I deny it. That guy lives. And that was with the far seer that's over here. I did measure it, he is within twenty four, so okay. now I guess we move on to shooting. Alright, so we're starting off with this shield bike captain, the one that doesn't have the three up in ball. He's going to shoot into this Venom right here. Okay, hits on three, three rolls ones. Uh, one, two, so everything else hits. Okay, Eleven then hits. fives. Okay, so we got one, two, three. Three, four ups. And a six up. So he takes one wound. So that Venom is now on five wounds. So the Ancient is going to take one shot at the guy that Tigerius couldn't smite to death. Hitting on a three, re-rolling. Hits. Winning on a three. Re-rolling? Nope. It's a three, but I would consider it a drop die, okay. so I'll just do it again. Four. Four, so it wounds. Well, minus one. Minus one, so I have a six up armor. Six up, feel no pain. 
Nope, so this guy just bit the dust. Rinsing and repeating with the next. So that guy is going to shoot at that guy. He so hits on threes because of my minus one. Hopefully he does better than one wound. Okay, rerolls ones. Okay, so all but one hit. Oh, Reroll ones. So they all hit. No, and except for one. Oh, okay. And then you wound on five. So, one, two, three. Two, three. Four up armor saves. And six up feel no pains. So I lose one wound. I guess. So he's now on four wounds. And then I'm assuming this third guy is going to do the same thing. Yeah. Okay, so hitting on threes again. So. Wow, you roll so good. <laughs> and then fives. on fives. Oh. Well, this oh, no. part, this is the hard part. So three again? Three, and I just, four. And I just broke Gilman's arm right off his oh. face. Oh. Well, yeah, that's five mortal wounds. So I have four up armors. And two six up fill no pains. So I take two damage. So I'm down to two. Okay, so now the one devastator that is still alive is going to shoot at the thing with two wounds and he's going to do hellfire shells. Yes he will. And I cost one command point, so cost I will one. get that back on a five or six. Nope. And I will get it back on a six. Yes, I got a command point, so I'm at eight tier. I believe. Okay. Okay, so he hits on a three. Okay. Hits. And then D3 mortal wounds. D3, come on. Three. I have three, six up, feel no pains. If I make two of these, I live. Nope, he dies. Does he blow up? No. Command point well spent. And then guy's getting out. Yeah, that's the one with five. Every time there's at least one guy that dies. Okay. okay. So that's where the cavalites get out. I'm doing it to try to protect my characters as much as possible from the inevitable charge that will be coming. Uh, Gilliman's going to shoot and at... he's going to shoot at... The three cavalets. squad of three. Okay. Actually. Yeah, he'll shoot at this gun. Okay. So three this one right here is going to take three shots. Hitting on threes because of the minus one. You're rolling, rolling ones, ones, not twos. Oh. So you only have one hit. You wound on a three because strength six. And it wounds. I have a five up and vulnerable. Six up, feel no pain. Oh wait, no, there's two, two damage. So six up, feel no pain. I take two damage. I'm down to four. All right, so Ryan is going to shoot his Hell Blasters into this Venom right here. And uh, he's not overcharging, but I'm still going to spend two command points to make it an extra minus one to hit. And I'm going to roll, uh, see if I get those back. I get one back. So I only spent one command point. So I'm down to seven to Ryan's six. Seven shots, hitting on fives. Rerolling ones and twos. Jeez. So, two hits so far. Four hits. Okay, and then wounding on threes, rerolling because of G-Man. Come on. Two wounds minus four. Five up in bulls. Six up, feel no banes. Hey, so I only take one damage. So the Venom is now sitting at three wounds, and all we have left is these snipers to shoot, who are going to shoot this Venom, I'm assuming? Yeah, the Venom, no, the Venom on the, the five, if that's what you said. Yep. That's correct. Okay, so they're going to be rerolling ones from this captain From the captain? Here. Yep. So hitting on threes, because they didn't move. Rerolling ones. All hit. And then wounding on five, sixes or mortal wounds. So you so got a mortal one wound. One mortal wound and one wound to save. Six up, feel no pain for the mortal wound. No. And then I have a five, four up armor, which I make. Oh, I should have. Yeah, whatever. So, one damage on this thing. So the shooting's done, and now we've moved into the charge phase. So Ryan declared that this shield captain was charging everything right there. Yeah, except I, oh, for him. Oh, except for the warlock, or the uh, farseer. And uh, I rolled all my overwatch, and I did get a couple hits, but he did block them with his two-up armor. So now he's going to roll his charge, which looks probably like a five-inch charge, I'm going to guess. He will get plus one because of Gilman. Okay. So, so he's, he's got nine. nine. So we're going to move for nine. He can move right up here. So with his nine-inch charge, he's going to end right there, which doesn't put him in combat with the Warlock, but he can pile in closer to the nearest enemy and then end closer to the Warlock, so he will probably be in combat with the Warlock. He's going to charge these three and this and Venom. Venom. All right, so let's uh, do some Overwatch. We have a Blaster, which does not hit. Four Poison Shots. 
which do not hit, but reroll a one because of that archon. No, here's all the venom shots. Rerolling ones because of the archon. So I got one, two, three. Wound on fours, rerolling ones. Nice. So you got three two up saves to make. Three two ups. Good. You made them all. All right. So what's your charge? Plus one from Gilman. So you got a three. Uh, it's not gonna make it. You might make it into the first three guys. So he's spending a command point to re-roll the one. So he's still got a two, and we did some measuring. He needs at least a four to get into the venom. And he's got it. All right, so I already did my overwatch, but this shield captain is now going to charge that venom. Nothing. I didn't even hit anything on overwatch, and we did measuring with Gilliman giving him a plus one. He needs an eight to get eight. into that bike, or to get into my razor wing jet fighter. I'm going to declare them, too. So Just, just in case if you get a lower yeah, charge. Yeah, gotcha. so just do the overwatch quick. All right, they, they can. can't. They're in combat. Yep, that's right, so... Nine. So. Okay. So where are we? I'm assuming that's all the charges. So where are we starting? I'm gonna start here. Okay. So he's gonna pile in. Okay. And he has to end closer to the cabin. Um, how many wounds does this guy have? Three. Three wounds. So I'm gonna do. And what's his invon? Four up. Four up invon. I'm just gonna do everything into him. Everything into him? Five attacks. Okay, and you hit on twos, correct? Yep. Alright, I'm gonna spend two command points to make him minus one. I get none back, so I'm at five command points now. Okay. So now you have five attacks hitting me on threes, re-rolling ones. Oh, three hits. So only three, and then your strength? Six. So you want me on threes? One wound. I got a four up in ball. I make it. So he's fine. So we realize after he gets the re-roll failed wound rolls when he charges, so he has two wounds or two failed wounds to re-roll. Yep, strength six. So one more. Four up in ball. Which I make. Okay, and then the misochondria. Okay. It's on three. Rerolling. Okay, and then this doesn't re-roll the wound. Strength five. So on a three. Because I'm toughness four. And it wounds is minus three. So four up in ball. I fail it. One damage. Okay, so it's just one damage. So now we're gonna go this shield captain attacking into the venom. So all five attacks. Gonna hit on twos. Rerolling ones. Okay, and then, and then he strength six, so wounding on threes. Reroll. Okay, so five wounds. Five wounds at minus three. So all of them go through. So how much dam? How many feel no pains do I gotta take? Uh, these are five d three then. Yep. So that one gives him a 10, 6 up, feel no pains. Oh, look, it's dead. Does it explode? No. What about the guys inside? There's three of them. They're okay, finally. <laughs> so that's what it looks like. I got them out farther than three inches, so he can't pile into them. And then we got over here. We have this guy. He's going to put three attacks into the venom and two attacks plus the mitochondria, whatever it's called, yep. into the cabalites. So do your three attacks, yep. hitting on twos, re-rolling ones. Oh no. And then wounding on threes. Re-rolling. Two wounds at minus three. So again, how many feel no pains? So five. Five six ups. So you do four damage, it's down to two. Then you have two attacks, and then just throw one of mine in here to do the mitochondria at the same time. Okay. Hitting on twos. You're rolling ones. ones. Two ones again. Okay. So three hits, and then probably wounding on threes. Right now, your strength six. So those ones wound on a two, and then that one I'm assuming would wound on a three. What's the strength of the mitochondria? Yeah, uh, four. Five, five, sorry, five. So yeah, all on threes. And then what's the AP? Uh, they're that all minus, minus three. three. And then that one. They're all minus three. Oh, okay. So one damage. Oh, mitochondria is minus two, I'm sorry. Okay, so either way, my, uh, for the mitochondria, six of feel no pain. So one guy's dead. Two more, 2d3. So do it at one at a time. So we got one. So the first guy has a six up, feel no pain. He dies. And I need a six to keep my blaster alive. No, he's dead. Womp womp. Then I get my attacks back, which I believe I'm going to do off camera. And sure enough, nothing happened. He killed two Venoms and two units of Cabalites. Plus he's on two objectives, which would be this objective over here and this objective there. So he got six points on his turn. So now he is at 14 to my 12. So the movement for turn three, 
for the Dark Eldar. It's now finished. A bunch of Venoms that were all like around here. Well, one was over here. They all moved right here to be within, I think this one's not within, but these two are within six inches of that Archon to make sure that they get rerolls. Uh, this guy's surrounded by two Archons. There's a bunch of Cabalites around here now. These guys are the ones that have been slogging up the board the whole time. Uh, these guys can't shoot because they left combat. And then I have my two Warlocks. Well, my Warlock and Farseer are right over there. So yeah, so they're over there in a weird spot. So they can smite that guy and doom and jinx this guy. They might leave them open to being charged at by this guy next time. I should be getting three points. Uh, for holding objectives by the end of the turn, so I should be up on one point no matter what. Now, as long as we can clear that guy off this objective, then I'll be holding that objective as well with the Venom, because Flyers can't hold it. But yeah, the other Flyers in that corner, because he had to fly this way, and I didn't want to land behind them to get in rapid fire with them. Let's jump right into the Psychic phase, and I'm going to spend one command point again to give those guys the plus one again. So it's called the Seer Council, I believe is the stratagem. So on a six up, I get that point back. I do not, so now I'm down to four command points. Okay, so I'm at five now. If I'm wrong, I'll correct, correct it in the video after I watch these stuff. I should have kept the dice up for my command points. So with that done, we are going to have the Warlock is going to cast Jinx on this guy way over here. Which is? Minus one to your saves. Okay. So I need it to go off on a 6 because I get a plus 1. It goes off on a 7. Or, er, yeah, 7. Okay, I'm going to try and deny that. I'm going to spend 1 command point to use the stratagem. The stratagem is called Spark of Divinity for 1 command point. In which allows either one of these guys that are within 12 to try to deny that spell. But I really, really, really want this spell to go off, so I'm going to spend 3 command points to negate it as long as this dice roll is a 2 or higher. It's five. a 5. So it does stop. And now I roll 3 dice to see if I get my command points back. I got none back. So now I should be at 2 command points left. Then you do not deny me, so this guy is now jinxed. Which means he has a minus 1 to all of his saves, including his invulnerable. Then we're going to move over to the Farseer. And he is going to smite the, the closest guy, which is the one that has 4 wounds over there. So I need a 4 for this to go off because of the plus 1. And it goes off on a 5. There is no more denying, because I'm out of... I made sure to stay out of range of Tigerius, and then that spell I cancelled, and he can't do it again. So D3 mortal wounds. For two. Two six up, feel no pains. Nope, so, nope. He's, down so he's down to two. two. And then I'm going to cast Executioner on him, which is basically another smite, but it's on uh, a seven. So I need to roll at least a six. And I get to use my runes of the Farseer, and I'm going to reroll both of these. And I got a 5, so it does not go off. Then I'm going to spend one more command point to see if I get it back on a 6. And I forget what the stratagem is called, but it allows my Farseer to do one more spell. So my Farseer is then going to do Doom on this guy right here. So I need again a 6 because it's a 7. So that goes off. So now this guy is doomed and jinx, which means he has a minus 1 to his saves from jinx, and I reroll all failed wounds against him. So I didn't smite and kill that one character that I was hoping to, uh, but maybe we can shoot him down or something. We'll see. So I guess we're going to go right into the shooting phase. So first thing, we're going to have this guy shoot his blast pistol into him. So hitting on a 2, rerolling because he's an Archon. And then it's strength 8, so wounding on a 3. So it wounds at minus 4. So you have your normally 3 up in Vol because you're Relic, but now it's a 4 up because of Jinx. 4. Which you make, and then we're going to go with the guys inside this Venom. So we forgot to mention, Tigerius at the beginning of my shooting phase is going to make the Hellblasters minus 1 to hit. So I have this many shots going from the guys inside that Venom at that uh, jet bike guy. And we're going to hit you on 3s. But then we poison weapons, we wound you on fours, re-rolling because of doom, thankfully. Whoops, drop die. So you got three three up saves because of jinx. Normally it's a two up, but jinx brings it to a three up. So you one. take one, so you're down to five. Six. Then we're gonna go over here and we're gonna have all of these cabalites shoot into that captain right there. So four splinter shots and a blaster, hitting on threes. Small ones are wounding on fours because of poison. Blaster's wounding on a two. 
So the blaster goes through, and okay. you have a three up involve in because he has a storm shield. Which you make, and then you have two three up armors. Which you fail one, so he's down two. Four wounds. Four wounds. We're gonna have that venom that's right there is gonna shoot into that same captain. He's gonna hit on threes. And again, my bad rolling is still sticking in. Three wounds. So you got three more three ups. So he failed two. He's two. down to two wounds left. Then we're actually going to have the Razor Ring Jet Fighter. I probably should have just did this first, but I want to make sure that he dies so everything from this Razor Ring Jet Fighter is going to go into that cap. Uh, two Dark Lances hitting on threes. Finally, both hit. Wounding on twos. One wound. You have a three up and vulnerable, which you make. And then D6 missiles, I'm going to do the strength 7 minus 1. Four shots. Hitting on threes. So three hits. Wounding on threes, re-rolling. So three wounds and minus one. So three, four, or three ups because you have an invul. So you take one more, you're down to one wound. And then we have the splinter cannon, rapid firing. Wounding on fours. You got three wounds, three three ups. And he's dead. Killed the captain, so that'll be a kill point for me so far. And then now I'm also controlling that objective. Because of the Venom, not because of the Flyer. Flyers cannot hold objectives. That Razor Wing Jet Fighter, and we're actually going to shoot everything into these scouts. So two Dark Lances. One hit. Wounds on a two. Wounds, you have a six up save because they have a two up in the cover with their cloaks. No. Nope. No, so one guy dies. Then we're going to do the strength 7 missiles that are minus 1 re-rolling wounds. So I get 6 shots this time. I hit you on 3's for 4 of them. And that's statistical. Then I wound you on 3's, but re-rolling because of its ability. So you have three or 4 3-up three saves because minus 1 to your 2-up save. One more. And then I have the splinter cannon. 3's. Fours. You got three more two up saves because of their uh, cloaks and they're in cover. Oof, lucky. And they're all good. This squad right here into big boy. Ten shots hitting on threes. Should be re rolling ones because of one of the archons, but I didn't get any one, so that's fine. And I wound him on fours because of poison. So it doesn't matter his toughness, he's not a vehicle. I wound him on fours. So you have two, three. You have three, three up saves because Jinx put you from a two up to a three up. So you lose another two more wounds. Two more wounds down. So he's down to four. And we're gonna move to this squad right here and unload into him. Big one's the blaster, like always. Reroll these ones because of the Archon. Still missed. And these are fours. So you got four. Oh, he's doomed. Forgot about that. So you got five. Five three up saves. And you failed one. So you're down to three wounds now. Then this squad right here is going to shoot at him. Because for those of you that are wondering, because of the new FAQ, characters don't block for characters anymore. So I can still shoot these guys because there's nothing closer except the other characters. So four shots from the splinter guns, one from the blaster. I keep rolling twos for my blasters. And then I wound on four. Do I really need to? No. Wound on fours. Re rolling because of doom. So you got one more three up save. And good. you're good. Far or Warlock is going to shoot everything at the guy with two wounds remaining. So he's got these. He hits on threes, I believe. Good. Strength four. Wounding on fives. So I got one, so you have your two-up save on that guy. Good. He's good. And then the Farseer is going to try. He hits on twos. And then he wounds on fives for nothing. He also has a Shining Spear, though, which hits on a not that. I'm going to shoot these snipers into the guy with two wounds. So I'm going to hit on threes. And then wound on five. Sixes or mortal wounds. If I get two sixes here, I'm so happy. Nope, but you do have a two-up save to make. You're fine. 
So then I'm actually going to do all 10 of these guys at the same time at that guy way over there. So hit me on threes. Wow, that's a lot of ones. So only five hits. I got half. So again, not statistical. I've been rolling really bad this game. So I need fives, sixes, or mortal wounds. Of course, nothing. That, that, that. Now we have these three venoms that are left to shoot. We're going to go with uh, this venom right here, and we're going to go into that guy. So we're going to hit on threes. No re-rolls for this guy. He's a little bit too far out. That was a hit, though. That one wasn't. So again, not rolling average at all. And then on fours. That was a little bit better, though. So three, three ups because of Jinx. You lose two more wounds. You're down to one. He's down to one wound. Then this next Venom, which is getting re-rolls of ones, they're going to shoot into... Actually, no. We're going to have... I'm gonna, just going to shoot both these Archons into him at the same time. So they hit on twos, re-rolling ones. They wound on fours, re-rolling everything because of Doom. Or two three-up saves on the guy with one wound. And he's dead. I'm going to re-roll this. With a command point? Yeah, with the command point. Okay. Uh, do I spend it? Yes, I do, so I'm down to five. Do I get it? I do not get it. So I'm still at two. And I still need a three up save. Yep. Good. Oh, almost, that almost. Still on one. Okay, now we're gonna go to the next venom that's gonna shoot everything into that guy. Alright, so first venom, re-rolling ones. And wounding on fours, re-rolling because of doom. Fours. So there's one, two, three, seven three up saves. I'm pretty sure he's dead. Seven three up saves. Been done. No, nope. he's dead. <laughs> so I don't even need to charge him. Um, spend two command points. Uh, even death, you can shoot as if it were the sh shooting phase or fight as if it were in the fighting phase. Okay. So, I'm going to see if I spend those on the five plus. So I you go. can only shoot because you're not in combat with anything. Yeah, exactly. So I. I can only shoot, but I spend both the command points, so I'm down to three now. And then do I get... You spent two command points? Yeah, two okay. command points. Do I get either? No, I don't get either, so I'm still at two command points. Okay, so... Alright, so Ryan activated the two-point stratagem, which you've already seen in the recording, and he's finally decided who he's shooting, and it's going to be these five cabalites right here. So you've got 12 shots. Sitting on twos, rerolling ones. Sitting on twos, rerolling the ones. All hit. And then wounding on threes, because uh, elves are only toughness three. They're like humans. So that's six, seven? Seven. Seven five-up armor saves. Not bad. Then I need at least one six up here for these guys to live. Oh, they all die. So that will be this squad. So normally that would be the end of my shooting phase, because these guys over here left combat. But, I actually have a stratagem called Cruel Deception, which for two command points, I can allow these guys to shoot again. So I'm gonna roll, see if I get that. I get one command point back. So I'm still on one command point, because I had two altogether. So now they're gonna shoot at the guy with two wounds. The small ones are splinter, uh, splinter guns, the big one is a blaster, and they do re-roll ones, so please do not roll a two for the blaster. Okay, and then the small ones wound on a four, the blaster wounds on a three. So we have one, four up, say, oh wait, no, they get three roll wounds to one, for one, so no. You have one two up save and one four up save. Oh, two up save? Two up save first. Okay. Which is okay. Then you have your four up save. Four up. No. And you already did use your reroll this phase. As long as this isn't a one, then you will die. There we go. It's a three. Alright. Two command points well spent. Yeah, so let's uh, go into charge phase. And we're going to have this guy charge that guy. So would you like to do your overwatch? So for one command point, Ryan is going to activate a stratagem called unflinching. Which allows any... Uh, Custody's unit to fire overwatch at a 5 up instead of a 6 up. So he's got 12 shots hitting on 5. Do I get this command point back? I yes, do. you do. Do I get the command point back? Yes, I do! I'm at 2 again. <laughs> get really lucky. You can't hitting on 5 is re rolling. Re rolling ones. ones. yeah. 1 1. 2 ones. Oh, it's another 1. Oh, yeah. <laughs> re rolled into a 1. And another 1. Oh, and we rolled into another one. So we got three hits. Okay, so that's not going to kill me. Then you wound on threes, though. So you got two wounds. 
So I'm actually going to show you guys a little trick here. He's got a 2-up in ball, but it goes away on a 1. So because this isn't going to kill him, and I really want to keep that in ball just in case I get into combat and I don't happen to kill the guy, I'm going to take these on my armor. So 5-up armor saves, which yes, you can do. So these go through, and then 6-up feel no pains. So they go through, so I'm down to 3 wounds. But I keep my 2-up armor. So I have an 8-inch charge running over those ruins into that guy. But I do re-roll because of my power from pain, and because we're in turn 3, and we're Cabal the Blackheart, we get all the bonuses from turn 1, 2, 3, and 4. So I don't think I mentioned it earlier on for those that are new with Dark Eldar, but Dark Eldar have power from pain, which is all the infantry. Uh, they gain on turn 1 a 6-up feel no pain, but because I'm Cabal the Blackheart, they get the turn 2 buffs on turn 1. We treat the game as if it's a turn earlier than it actually is. So on turn 1, it's a 6-up, feel no pain, and re-rollable advances and charges. Then on turn 2, it's that stuff, but also, because it all stacks. Then on top of that, we hit on 2s in close combat. Then on turn 3, which is the turn we're in now, I believe, uh, we're morale immune. And then on turn 4, we minus 1 from your leadership for units that are within 6 inches of you. So, I have an 8-inch charge, but this is re-rollable because of power from pain. I'm going to keep my command point and re-roll the whole thing. And I don't make it in. I believe that's going to be the end of my turn. So I don't think you have a morale on these guys. But I do get one, two, three, four points. Plus I killed three units this turn, nope. so I get seven one, points. Two, three. Is that it? Yeah, I only, I only killed three things. Okay, I thought you killed one. Nope, I only killed three. I killed your two captains and then the other captain <laughs> that's over there. Okay, characters so, down. Yeah, I killed a bunch of characters. So now I have seven. I get another seven points, so that puts me at 19 to your 15. So you're still kind of in this, although now you're on the back foot, I would say, at least. So yeah, now we're going to go into Ultramarines and Custodes, turn four. So movement phase for the Ultramarines is done. The little blob moved up. Gilliman is leaving his children to go uh, smack some face. This custodian is going over there to say hello to my two Eldar psychers. And the one guy up in that ruin is still just chilling. And those guys over there are just chilling. And that's all the Ultramarines have at this point in the game. So, uh, moving into psychic phase. What would you like to do for psychic? So first I'm going to cast Might of Heroes on Gilliman, giving him plus one attack, okay. strength, and toughness. Okay. Goes off on 5. Goes off on a 12. Um, yeah, but I'm going to spend a command point to re-roll one. Okay, do I get that command point? I do! I'm at 3 command points now. Okay. So it's a 7. Okay. Oh, 5. So, so I you, get, you get your command point back and you roll a 7 for your spell. I'm going to try to deny with my uh, Farseer, who should be within 24 oh, yeah. inches. And I got a 5, so that doesn't deny it. Um, smite. Okay. Needing a 5. Got it on a 7. I'm going to use my Farseer again. Needing an 8. And I got it. So I deny your smite. Now we'll go into shooting right away. Yep. Start with this guy. He will shoot all of his shots. 12 into shots. Into the guy with the two wounds. Into the guy with two wounds left. Go for it. Hitting on twos. We're rolling ones. Oh. Okay, so 10 hits, and then strength, toughness, 4. So, wounding on 3s, or no, 4s, because I'm toughness 4 on the bike. 5? Yeah, 5. I believe he only has a 4-up save, so uh, I'm pretty sure he's dead here. Yeah, he's dead. Oh, he just failed. I could use one command point to keep him alive, and then that'll mean you have to charge me. Yeah, you know what, I'm going to use a command point. So this is the roll for the save first. I need a 4 up. I make it, so he lives with one wound. Now I gotta see if I get the command point back. No. Alright, so now the Hellblasters are gonna have three of them shoot at these guys, and the rest shoot there, and they're all within rapid fire range. So that's gonna be a lot of shots. So we're doing the 6 for six the 3. Shots I Hitting on 3s. We roll one. And they all hit, and I'm winning on 2s. Uh, strength 7. So we two, three rolling. Ones. Okay, they all wound, minus four. Six, six ups. They're dead. Eight shots going into the other four guys. Three, three rolling. Okay. 
fall down again. And then wounding on twos. twos. Eight. So that's eight. All of them make it through. Six up, feel no pains. So I'm pretty sure they're dead and the yeah, other dead. Bye bye. So Gilliman, now that he's gotten rid of those squads, is going to shoot at the guy with one wound. So yeah. we'll rapid fire. So six shots. Any minus to hit? No, uh, you're within 12, so no. Okay, so six, uh, twos, reel, rolling ones. Okay. And then he's strength six, so wounding on threes. Rerolling, because he's Gilliman. Six. six. Don't worry, I can make this many four minus one. vulnerables. Don't worry, I got six, four open vulnerable. Oh, he's dead. So we did a bit, a little bit of rolling off camera, because we didn't think it would matter. Uh, heavy Bolter took a shot at these guys and killed the guy. And then a ancient took a shot at these guys and killed the guy. And then these snipers over here took a shot at them and failed to do anything. So now we're going to go into the assault phase or charge phase. So who is uh, who's going to charge? Uh, the custodian is going to charge into the farseer. Okay. So I got my four shots from my shuriken something, and then I got one shot from a shining spear. Nothing. All right, make your charge. It's like two inches. Hey, you're in. Uh, Gilliman will charge this and if this is in. This guy's probably out of range. No, uh, no, he's in 12. Okay, so okay. then I'll shoot both of them. The blast pistol's out of range, but the splinter pistol's not. And I miss with the splinter pistol. Yeah. So Gilliman needs an 8 inch charge to make it into him. I think he needs an 11 to make it into him. And he failed. Uh, I'm going to spend a command point. Do I get that command point? No. Uh, do I get that command point back? No. So I'm okay. down to two. Yep. It's gotta do something. Fuck. He's in. I am going to heroically intervene. And then that's... Well, I, I, I called him on the charge too, right? So... Yes, you can smack me. I can smack start with this guy. Okay. Uh, wait. Yeah, Gilman's survivable. Okay. So I'm gonna start with this guy. He's got uh, five attacks. Okay. Hitting on twos? Or uh, drop dice? Yep. Yeah, it should be hitting on twos. Rerolling, but doesn't need it. And, and then, then strength six. Yeah. So winning on threes, but rerolling because he no, charged. Fours or threes, yeah, but rerolling because he charged, yeah. Which is good. Okay. All five at minus three. Four up in bowls. Please, dice gods. Come on. I can do it. Good stall. I failed three. So I'm going to spend a command point and reroll this one. And it fails. Do I get the command point back? No. So I'm at one command point now. And so now you get 3d3 against that guy. Please low roll. Five wounds? He's got six. So he did six. Six. So he's dead. Yeah. Gilliman has six attacks. He's going to do three against each. Here's the three. Six against... attacks because he has Might of Heroes on him. Okay. Not... Or wait, does he got seven attacks? Gilliman has seven attacks because of Might of Heroes. He's going to put four on the guy that's not wounded and three on the guy that is wounded. So here's the three attacks against the Archon that's wounded. So he hits on twos, re-rolling ones, all hit, and then he should, he's strength like ten or some shit, so yeah. wounding on twos, re-rolling ones. All come through. Okay, so Archons have a two up and vulnerable. But I have to roll them one at a time because if I roll a one, then it's well, gone. It's, it's three damage each. So one at a time. Two up. Good. Two up. Good. Two up. Good. So that Archon stands firm. Now you have four attacks going into the other Archon. Hitting on twos, re-rolling ones. So they all hit. And then winning on twos, re-rolling ones. And I got a six. Which is? The three mortal wounds in addition. Okay, so do your D3. So two. you got two. I got two six up feel no pains, which I don't make. So he's down to three as well. Four two up saves, one at a time, because if one fails, it's gone for the others. Cocked. Mm, cocked. That one. That one. No! I failed it! And you can't re-roll it for any reason. So this one that was cocked, technically. So this one just goes through. So then, how much damage is it? That's, he's a four up invul, uh, three damage. Okay, so I got three six up feel no pains, and if I fail, I need at least one of these for my guy to stay alive. Nope, he's dead. Dun, 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 dun. I have five attacks going into Gilliman. 
Hitting him on twos, re-rolling ones. And then I have, I'm strength four, so I wound him on fives, but I re-roll ones. I got one wound at minus three, so three up in bowl. Fails, you take two damage. Or no, it's D3. For one damage. So there's G left. Uh, that is the end of your turn. You're going to get one point for that objective, and then you killed one, uh, two, two three. three, four, five. You killed five things plus that, you get six points, I believe. Yeah, and, I, and you were I, at 15, I, I, I so, you should be at, so you should be at 21. 21 points. All right, and then we're going to go into Drukari turn. Is this four? Four. So yeah, we're at the four. end of Dark Eldar movement. So I shuffled these guys over so that this guy right here is just within three inches of the center. Uh, so even though they're carry or holding it, that guy's holding it too. Uh, they're still over there chilling on that objective. I backed up all the Venoms to run away from Bobby G. Uh, this Venom is still... Actually, we're going to just move that a little bit farther back. And leave that just within three inches of that objective. And then... That fighter went from there over there. That one was over here and flew way over there just to be able to shoot Tigarius in his mouth. Uh, go on to shooting because I have no more psychers because someone killed them. So, <laughs> moving on to shooting. We're going to have... So at the beginning of the shooting phase, Hellblasters are minus one. So these five guys are going to shoot at that one guy way up there. I hit him on threes. And then I need at least one of those sixes again, preferably. No, I didn't. Oh, I got one wound. Do you have a two-up save? Two. And it's a two. All right, so now we're going to have these five guys take a shot at that one dude hiding up there. So we got three hits again. And now, please roll a six. No, but I got one wound. You owe oh. me a two-up. It's on a four. Four? Okay, yeah, strike yeah. four. Good. And you're good. One, two that didn't move, hitting on threes. And then one, two, three that did move, or no, only two moved, so here's another three. And then two that did move on fours. And then we wound you on fours, preferably sixes. Three. I got a six. I killed him. Took all three sniper squads, but I ended up killing that guy, so I get one point for killing something. So I should be at 20 now. We're going to move over to that razor wing right there, and we're unloading everything into Tigerius. So let's start with the splinter cannon. Hitting on threes, and then wounding on fours because of poison. So you got two three-up armors. You're good. good. And then I'm going to do strength seven minus one missiles for three shots. I hit you on threes. Okay, and then I have two dark lances. Now these, I'm pretty sure you don't have an inball on him, right? No. Nope. So if these go through, I might be able to kill him. So we're looking for threes to hit. We got two hits. We're looking for twos to wound. Of course I roll a 1. I'm going to use my last command point to re-roll this one. It's still a 1! And I don't get to re-roll to see if it's back because I forgot to mention my two Archons that were around here ran over to one of the Venoms and are now inside that Venom right there. So I do have one that hit and wounded. It's minus 4 to your save, so you don't get a save. How many wounds does he have? 4. So I need to roll a 4 or higher for him to die. Please, please dice gods. Oh, he lives with one wound. Okay, so we're going to move over to this Razor Ring Jeff Fighter, and we're going to shoot everything into those scouts. So here's two Dark Lances, hitting on threes. Both hit, wounding on twos. Both wound. Why couldn't I do that last time? Sixes. <laughs> Need sixes. Nope, nope. so two, two guys dead. dead. And then I have missiles, strength seven, four shots. Hitting on threes. And then wounding on three, re-rolling. You got wounds, you got a two, three up save. Which you're good. Then I got the splinter cannon hitting on threes. And then wounding on fours. You got four wounds, four two ups. It's good. And you're fine. So then we're going to have this venom that's right there, going to shoot into them. It's hitting on threes. Yeah, it's any part of the month. Wounding on fours. You have five two-up saves. There he is. There's the one. So he's dead. So I got another point. So I should be tied now. 21 points for my score tied, and that's not including the points I'm going to get at the end of the phase. Let's move on to these Venoms shooting at Gilliman. So this first Venom right here, 
into Gilliman. Threes. Fours. You got one wound. Two up save. Takes a wound. He's down to seven. Next Venom. Hitting on threes. Then on fours. You got one wound. He's good. And then the last Venom. Threes. Then fours because poison. So two wounds. You got two two up saves. Good. You're fine. These guys can still shoot, so I'll shoot them at Gilliman just for shits and giggles. Threes. Fours because of poison. No. My shooting phase has gotten significantly shorter. So I'm not charging anything. So at the end of my turn, I am going to score one, two, three, four more points, which will put me at 25 to his 21. And then we're going to be going into turn five, which may be the final turn of the game. So Ultramarines, turn five. So movement phase is finished for the Ultramarines. Gilliman has ran towards these Venoms. He's not in range to charge any of them, though. Uh, these guys moved up to grab that objective, and Tigerius and the uh, Ancient are moving up, and this guy moved up over here, and that's all we have left for the Ultramine side. So where are we starting? I'm assuming Psychic Phase. Yeah, Might of Heroes on myself. Okay. Please, Barrels. Oh, oh, close. Goes off on but six. It does go off. I don't have any Psychers to deny anymore. And then... Smite. Which does perils! I will spend a command point to reroll. Okay. okay, it goes off on a six. Okay. Or that would, yeah, then I'll roll for the command point. Okay. So you don't get the command point, but it does go off Down on a six. One command point. Which will go off on the flyer. So, that's d3 more wounds. For three. I got three six oops. And I fail all of them. So it's down to seven. So now shooting phase. What's shooting what? All of these guys are going to okay. shoot at him. So they're all shooting at the flyer, okay? Yep. Are they overcharging? No, because they are not uh, okay. within the, the Gilliman range. range. Gotcha. Well, they get to reroll one still, but that's it. So okay. it's minus one, so hitting on fours. Yep. Rerolling ones because of Gilliman's 12 inch bubble for Imperium. And then you wound on strength seven, so threes because I'm only top of six. We got three or five. Five at minus four. But I have a five up invulnerable save. Which I make two and failed three. One damage each, six up Vilma Banes. So I take two more damage, I'm down to five on that guy. He will shoot at this unit of three. Okay. So he's it within rapid fire, so that's twelve. Okay. Heading on twos. We roll on ones. Wound on uh, threes. Yeah. Okay, one, two, three, four? Just four. Uh, five. Threes. Oh, five. So I got five up armors. And then six up, feel no pains. I need all, at least one of these for the squad to live. Two. So only one dies. This guy right here. Then we have Bobby G shooting something. Gil What's he going to shoot the Venom with two wounds left? Okay, he hits on threes because it's minus one. Rerolls ones. And he's all good. And then he strength six, so one's on threes. Rerolls. Rerolling. Two. At minus one. Two, five ups. And then four it's damage. four damage. So six up, feel no pains. Still dead. Does it explode? No, it does not. So who are you charging? Um... I'm gonna charge these, this squad here. I have five snipers, Overwatch. Nothing. All right, make your charge. It's probably like a three or four inches. With seven, that should do it. And I believe that's the only charge you can actually make. So let's go into the attacks. So he's gonna do five attacks. He's hitting on twos. Rerolling ones. Okay. And then wounding strength is strength six, so wounding on twos because they're only toughness three. Three roll the wells. All of them. So I don't have uh, any save, so they just die. He gets two points for killing units because he killed those rangers and he killed the venom over there. And he gets two points for being on objectives right there and right there. So he's at 25, which ties me. So if I score any points, which I will, I'm scoring at least one two and three if I score all of those 
and then the game ends, I should win the game. So, uh, yeah, let's All see. Right. So, I ended my movement. Flyers came over here to try to limit Bobby G's movement because he can't charge them because they're flyers. And, uh, yeah, he has to walk around them now because he can't go over enemy bases. Uh, he also can't charge all my stuff that's in the ruins because he can't get up that high. <laughs> Which is pretty funny. But that's how uh, monsters work because he has the monster keyword so he can't do that. Rangers are still chilling here. These rangers are still within three inches of there and Cabalates are under there. They should probably be within three inches too but they're in the middle so Bobby G can't just go to the wall to charge them. Uh, then these guys are up here just chilling. And then these guys are still on the objective. That's still on that objective, and of course, he's still on there, and Cabalites underneath are still on the objective as well. So let's get right into it. This thing is gonna shoot everything at Bobby G. So, here's the Dark Lances. We got two hits. We got one wound. You have a three up and vulnerable save, which you make. Then I'm gonna do the missiles. Strength seven, two shots, one hit. Wounds on a, not that, but re-rolls because of its ability. One wound. Minus one, you have a three up, but you're good. And then the splinter cannons, or splinter cannon, I should say. Two hits, wounds on fours because of poison. You got two two up saves. You're okay. Now let's move over to this other one. Same thing, two dark lances into Bobby G. Two hit. Uh, missiles, strength seven. Four shots. Wounding on threes, re-rolling. You got three minus ones, so three three ups. You fail one, you're down to six. And then I'm going to do all the snipers at the same time, so that should be ten shots. Ten sniper shots going at Bobby G. Actually, no, we're going to go at the guy with one wound. Hitting them on threes. Yeah, one six here to wound. And I got it. He's dead. And then after that, I guess I'm going to shoot these Venoms in the Bobby G. I'll just do that off camera because I doubt anything's going to happen, so we'll be back. Alright, so that's going to be the end of my turn, which means I will score one point for those guys in the Cabalites. Two points, three points, plus Tigeria, so that's four points, which puts me at a total of 29. Meaning if the game ends here, I will be victorious. So we looked it up, the player who went first does the roll-off, which is Ryan. So uh, roll the dice, on a one and a two, the game ends. The game, the game is ends. over. So awkward left-handed <laughs> handshake. Good, Good game. game, bro. Good game. All right. Uh, so yeah, that's gonna be a dark Eldar victory. I guess I clutched it out in the end there. And yeah, so hopefully you guys enjoyed that one. And I got a phone call, so I'll be right so back. Yeah, that's gonna be it for this battle report, guys. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Hit that little notification button if you want to be notified. And also, if you would like help with list building or would like to help support the channel even further, you can do so on Patreon. The link will be in the description. Thanks for watching, everyone, and happy wargaming. Have a good one.